Hello, travel world, and welcome to another episode of Experience Travel with Katie and Allie. My name is Katie Lilly, and I am the owner of the Travel Marketplace. And I'm Allie Schultz, expert travel consultant with the Travel Marketplace. And today we're going to be talking to Rob Keane with Project Expedition. Hello, Hi, everyone. I, I am Rob Keane. I'm one of the uh, co-founders of uh, Project Expedition. Very excited to uh, be invited to speak uh, on today's uh, session. Thank you, Ali, Katie. Really looking forward to this. Yeah, we're glad to have you. And can you introduce yourself a little bit to, um, to everyone and kind of introduce your company as well? We'd love to. Um, so, Project Expedition, we, uh, we've just turned five years old um, and we are a platform um, of tours, activities, things to see and do all around the world. Um, and we, 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 myself and uh, one other person, Jeremy, started the company uh, about five years ago as we wanted to create something specifically aimed at travel advisors that really kind of focused on the curation of high quality local tour operators. Um, we, we looked at that kind of particular vertical within the travel space and it's, it's very fragmented. There's just so many different tour options out there and it's very confusing and challenging to figure out kind of who to book with. Um, so we decided to uh, start a company that, that attempted to do that. Um, it's changed a lot since, but that was kind of the mission from day one. Nice. In terms of myself, uh, funnily enough, I don't have a background in travel. Uh, mm -hmm. It was actually in uh, 10 years working in financial services. Um, and it was a company where um, we differentiate ourselves on service and support. Um, so we kind of took that approach when it came over to travel. And we felt not, not just do we want to create kind of a product that's about quality, but it needs to be backed up with service and support. So those were kind of the two things that we kind of brought into the travel space and kind of started out the company. And, you know, I just want to tell my viewers that I couldn't agree more with your customer service because I know that myself and other agents um, at the Travel Marketplace, we've been um, using you, booking some tours and some of your products for a little over a year now. And there's been a couple times where I couldn't find a product in your system because my client wanted this private transfer that was over an hour drive in Italy. And I just emailed you and that same day, you had it all figured out for me and I was able to book it. I mean, that's how easy it was. So I, I really do say that oh, that's, you that's and your amazing company, to hear. Thank you. Yeah, the, you guys really do provide great customer service. And that's one reason why, why I keep coming back to you guys. Oh, that's lovely to hear. It's, um, it's, it's kind of funny because even though that was our thing, um, we didn't actually advertise it um, initially when we started the company. Um, we felt it had to be very about the product, the technology and things like that. And it was only when we started getting feedback um, that we realized one of our main differentiators was service and support. Um, so now kind of, I and mean, as you just heard, like when, when I talk about the two things, one of them is just the simplest service and support. And it's, it's been able to send an email and, and know a real person responds to you. Um, we put a little live chat feature on the website. And I remember when we launched that in 2016, it was just kind of a little side project. We're like, let's try out, see what happens. Um, and now we get feedback almost every week of advisors that love using live chat. Um, but we didn't know at the, at the beginning, it would become a key part of the product. We thought, why not just try it out? It seems like a good idea um, and see what happens. Yeah, it's been great. So can you um, tell, us, tell us about some of the products that Project Expedition offers? Yeah, great, great question. Um, and that's been one of our challenges uh, kind of as we've grown is really trying to figure out what the right products are to have in every destination. Um, because we, we're always going to be that curated platform, but you do still need to have a lot of choice. Um, like if you think of uh, one of the Hawaiian islands, you think of Maui, like you're going to need to have like a, a sightseeing tour. Uh, mm -hmm. So you're going to need a company that does that. You're going to need to then have water-based tours, be it going snorkeling, sailing, maybe a sunset dinner cruise. Um, and then within that, we want to make sure we cater to each kind of price category. So we deliberately make sure we have an offer that does private tours, small group tours up to about 10 to 15 people, and then even just larger group tours. Uh, you will see things like hop on, hop off tickets uh, kind of on the platform as well. Uh, 
So we do like to say that even though it's curated, you're going to find something for each kind of price point, depending on where your client's at. Um, and most importantly, we, we will have all the different types of activities in a destination. So if you look at kind of the activity spectrum from low to high energy, if you will, you're going to see things like pasta making classes when you're in Rome. Um, you won't see that when you're looking at Hawaii, but you will see things like helicopter flights and uh, zip lining and things like that. So we definitely don't kind of limit ourselves when it comes to type of product. It's, it's really very client driven. Um, we do our own research in terms of what types of tours, products, attractions we need to cover in a destination. But we really do most of it by just speaking to clients and asking for feedback. What, what are kind of, what are your clients asking you as advisors to, to have available in a destination? And that, that really drives what we need to have. Um, and we've, we've been lucky just through the feedback is that you can build a product that way um, just by constantly asking questions and listening and then kind of nudging your strategy in that direction. That is so true. And one of the things that I've noticed that I like is you have quite a bit of options on those um, skip the line tours in dif different destinations, which a lot of people don't realize if you don't get the tickets that have it on there, you could be spending most of your day in line waiting to get into that attraction. So that, that's that been a very popular one with my clients. Uh, yeah, that's a, a great point as well. It's, it's nothing worse than, you know, showing up to some of the popular attractions like the Eiffel Tower and like those lines can be, I mean, there can be a line to get in the line when you've got to buy the tickets first as well. And it's, and if you've only got a few days somewhere, like, and you don't want to spend an afternoon doing one thing. Um, so yeah, skip lines, absolutely. Uh, I'm just, I wouldn't book anything else if I'm honest. Um, you can Me even too. do additional, additional things now. I know like with the Colosseum and the Vatican, um, they, they go a, a whole kind of extra level of exclusivity where um, you can go in the Vatican, they call it under the stars, which is nighttime on a Friday. Um, you can go in, I forget what they call it, but it's kind of pre uh, uh, skip the line where you go in even before it opens in the morning with a very limited group of people. So if you get in first, you might be the only people in the Vatican. It's some of those little things as well. Um, mm -hmm. I think that's what really can like differentiate the product and, and, and give your clients like, a whole different level of an experience. Yeah, that's those those are great. I mean, we've like you said, everybody when we go on vacation, we've all been in those skip the lines and those crazy lines. I remember, I think it was Academia, and my daughter oh, yeah. stood in line forever. <laughs> I mean, it was years ago, prior to me being a travel agent and having the knowledge that I have now. But I want to say we were in line for about an hour and a half, two hours, and it was very worth it, but much, much rather would have had the skip the line tickets and kind of gone right in rather than waiting for an hour and a half. And it was a little chilly when we were in Florence. So those, those are really great. Um, another thing that I have noticed is you also offer a lot of products in the United States. And I think after the travel bans are lifted, I think we're going to see a lot of U.S. travel before we start seeing some international travel. Do you have particular destinations in the United States that kind of sell more than others or are more popular? Yeah, great, great question. And, and, and we, we share your exact same opinion on, on once travel does come back, we, we also feel it will be domestic. Um, we, um, about 18 months ago, we started focusing a bit more on domestic travel. Um, again, this was off client feedback. Um, when we started the company, we got more requests for places like Italy. Um, so we kind of worked on that and then kind of worked outwards from there. Um, so we actually have uh, just over 2,000 products in the United States, um, which sounds like a lot, but then you've got to keep in mind there's so many popular destinations. So we are still working on them. Um, for us, like the, the top destinations, it's places like Hawaii, uh, Alaska is up there, but primarily shore excursions so for, for cruise, cruise passengers. Um, and then within kind of continental US, uh, East Coast cities such as New York, Boston, um, and then down in Florida as well has been popular. Um, and then on the West Coast, San Francisco, uh, those, those tours have been popular. And the other ones have been national parks, um, going to Yellowstone, Jackson Hole, those kind of things, which I've done myself, amazing tours. and you really do need a guide for some of that because you're going to see so much more. 
You, you really do. And as a person who's seen a lot of those national parks as well, when I was a kid, we drove across country. I'm from California uh, originally. And awesome. so we drove across country and we did a lot of those national parks. And I, I do remember that. And I've gone back, you know, at, um, as an adult and it's so easy. You can just get lost in them. Yeah, so right. they're, they're just massive, beautiful. But I agree with that. Having a guide to sort of take you through those it's really nice because you, you don't want to miss on these little things that might not be in the guidebooks, but that an actual guide will know. And they're just spectacular. Right. Exactly. And sometimes just a little bit of local knowledge that makes it fun. Right. And that's the kind of thing when, once you come home and you're with your friends, it's, it's those little tidbits that you're going to be going to be talking about and that you remember. Um, and it's, uh, I mean, I, I, I've been places on my own and you can absolutely see amazing sites on your own without a guide. Um, I mean, I tend to find more time, I'll spend more time looking at my phone trying to figure out what it is <laughs> and then without the guide, but like it absolutely, it's, it's, it, it can, it's a complete different experience having a, an expert guide there. And another thing, Rob, I wanted to ask you was about your cancellation policies that you have in place. Great, great question. Uh, and obviously it's incredibly topical at the moment. Um, typically, um, it's called normal circumstances, if you will. Um, most tours have two to three days in advance, kind of no questions asked, 100% refund, very, very easy. Um, in terms of what we've changed this year, um, we really sat down in about the middle of March and, and we looked at two things. It's like, how can we improve that in terms of what the refund uh, policy is? And secondly, how can we make it even easier uh, for clients to just submit cancellations? Um, so we we upgraded just the entire system and the process for requesting cancellations on our side. Um, we put a link in all the vouchers. So you could literally cancel a reservation within about 10 seconds just by clicking a button and putting in a note. Um, we changed our policy. So even if you want to cancel one day in advance or if the tour doesn't typically have a refund, you still could. Um, those used to be blocked. Um, it wasn't possible. You had to kind of email or call us. Um, we um, automated the, the process as much as we could so that even if a refund wasn't due, we would then step in and negotiate on the advisor's behalf. Um, I'm pleased to say we've actually had some kind of overwhelmingly positive feedback from our clients on how we've been handling these cancellations and refunds. So as far as I'm aware, the, po the process has been working very, very well. Um, and we've been trying to get refunds even when it's out of policy. And we've been pretty successful, actually, in getting those refunds. Um, us, we're a marketplace. We're partnering with local tour operators. Um, we do have to have those conversations with the local partners sometimes. Um, but we've been doing that on behalf of the advisors uh, and all of our clients. Uh, and as I say, for the most part, we've been getting those refunds and, and the feedback's been very, very positive. Um, so it really came down to two things. It was make the process as easy as quick as possible because as advisors, like there's so many things you're dealing with right now is like requesting a cancellation shouldn't take more than a minute. Uh, so we did that. And then if there was any kind of back and forth required, we handled it. Um, and as I say, the feedback's been very positive. I can say that that is very true. Us advisors really appreciate the support <laughs> and help of getting refunds back for our clients because it has been difficult during this time right now. So we do appreciate it. So thank you. Uh, that's good to know. And it's, uh, I mean, we're really taking a long-term view on all of this. We, we, we know travel will come back. Uh, we're obviously not the only people saying that, um, but when it comes to kind of day-to-day -day decisions, we can kind of tie that thought process in. So it's like, okay, well, one agent's canceling all of their trips this year with us. Okay, that's, that's obviously a significant revenue hit. Um, and from our point of view, it's a hit, but it's also for that advisor. Um, and it comes down to, well, what's the right thing to do in that situation? Uh, and for us, it's like, well, we want them to be a long-term partner. Um, and to do that is you've got to do the right thing right now. And if that client wants a refund, we should absolutely offer it. Um, if the client wants to reschedule, we can look to do that. If they want travel credits, we could get to that. But fundamentally, it's it's the money and the refund. So you've got to kind of do something there. And and there's no point trying to, to save that in the short term if the advisor or the client doesn't want to, in our opinion. It's kind of, let's think long term. We'll make it quick, easy, and helpful right now. Um, and when travel comes back, 
hopefully those advisors will remember us and come back to us then. Definitely. We definitely will be remembering the travel partners that had our backs. That's for sure. <laughs> is, there, is there anything else that you wanted to tell our viewers today before we go? Um, it, it's really just if, if anyone has feedback, suggestions, or just needs some support, just don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, we are a, a fairly young company. We're five years old, uh, as I mentioned, and we're also a small team. So kind of everyone does know everyone. Um, and we are making these changes kind of as we go and as by having conversations that are often driven by clients. So if, if there are, let's say, even concerns, please reach out and tell us. Um, the, the, the team that handles live chat, I'm talking to them every single day. Um, if we can kind of improve the way we're doing things, um, if there's work we can be working on for the future, kind of absolutely let us know. Uh, we'd love to hear that kind of feedback, um, positive or even constructive. We, uh, we do listen in action all of it. That is great. Well, thank you so much, Rob, for joining us today. And thank you everyone for experiencing travel with the Travel Marketplace and Project Expedition. If you'd like any more information or have questions on Project Expedition, feel free to contact us at the Travel Marketplace. Until next time, stay healthy, stay safe, and keep dreaming about your next travel experience.